What's up friends, it's Jan here and welcome to a summer weekend in Toronto. We're gonna kick it off with Smorgasburg. Smorgasburg, according to their website, is the largest weekly open air food market in America. It was originally started in New York City and then it expanded to Los Angeles and Miami and as of this year, Toronto. I had been to the Smorgasburg in New York City about six years ago and I absolutely loved it. It was the experience of being surrounded by so many different cuisines, the smell, the atmosphere, the music, and who doesn't love being surrounded by food? Since Toronto is such a diverse city, especially when it comes to food, I was super excited to hear that Smorgasburg is coming to Toronto, so let's go check it out. My mom and I went on Saturday, August 13th. We made sure to arrive early. Smorgasburg hours are from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. every Saturday until September 10th. Arriving before noon means noticeably shorter lines and wait times. We could not eat everything, although I wish I could, but here are some of the vendors that immediately caught our attention. The hit spot was this Asian fusion vendor called Nozomi. We tried both their drinks, the pink grapefruit lychee soda and the coconut coffee smoothie. I highly recommend both. But let's talk about the star of the show. This is the bulgogi kimchi cheesesteak, a Korean take on the classic Philly cheesesteak. Bulgogi is marinated thin slices of meat, usually beef, cooked on high heat. This was absolutely delicious and not overpriced in my opinion, unlike pretty much everything else here. Next we tried this Indonesian vendor because my mom loves seafood and I always wanted to try laksa. Laksa is a common dish in Southeast Asia, countries like Singapore, Malaysia, and Indonesia. If you enjoy coconut curry like me, give this a try. This was my first time and it did not disappoint. For dessert, we tried two vendors. First is Baker Ray. This is the calamansi flavored donut. Calamansi is a small citrus fruit from the Philippines, very similar to lime. It is light and refreshing. Imagine a key lime pie in donut form, but slightly less acidic and more sweet. Finally, we went to the Lala Bake Shop and tried their lava salted egg donut and their roasted seaweed pork floss rolled cake. That's a mouthful, pun intended. Both were absolutely delicious. The salted egg filling, mm, 10 out of 10. If you enjoy salted egg filling, it's a very common thing across Asia, but this one was just out of the ballpark. So good. The next day, my boyfriend and I went to D'Antonia Park Golf Course for a little golf. D'Antonia Park is a city-run golf course in Toronto, technically in Scarborough. It is a short par 3 course. I would say pretty much every hole is 100 yards, plus or minus 20. You are not allowed to take your driver and fairway woods to the golf course, but you probably won't need anything higher than a 9-iron. The golf course is quite repetitive, and some of the tee decks are actually mats instead of grass. You get what you pay for, right? The greens are not the smoothest, but we were paired up with another couple who were super nice. For $30 a person, we had a wonderful time. It may just be our luck that we were stuck behind a group of kids who were just very unkind to the greens here. As you can see, someone dragged their putter across this green, and on almost every single green there are like drag footprints around the hole. It was a little bit uncomfortable to see, but please take care of the greens and please don't drag your feet or your clubs across the surfaces.
Ah yes, a fine example of a well-maintained tee deck on the D'Antonio Park golf course. All jokes aside though, this little mat wasn't even in its spot when we arrived. We had to actually put it back in the little rectangle that it comes in. Going to get some dinner! We are in Greek town going to a Greek restaurant for some gyros. They're very delicious. Let's go! Greek town is super close to the golf course. There are loads of cute restaurants and patios. We decided to have dinner at a Greek restaurant called Messini. I'll let the food speak for itself. We ordered the Greek fries topped with feta cheese, an olive spread that was just amazing, and two mixed pork and chicken gyros, all for $29 before tax and tips. Not many restaurants in Toronto are worth its price tag nowadays, but this one I'll recommend to anyone any day. I haven't had Baskin Robbins in years, and this one really wanted some cotton candy ice cream for dessert. That is it for this video. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment on your favorite cuisine. I love getting involved in the comments. And subscribe for more delicious content. I'll see you in the next one.